Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Day 482. We've spent the entire day running around, working on cars. He got the tires put on his under 100 bucks that look great. He likes the ride. He says it's quiet now. So that's the good news. In more good news, it's a beautiful 60 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Just perfect weather for windows down, sunroof open. Moving on to the bad news. Um, where my dad had the tires put on this morning, they didn't have time to uh, to look at my wheel, so we took it somewhere else in Hudson, NTB, National Tire and Battery, and uh, they looked at it, and there's nothing they can do about the wheel. I'm gonna have to take it to somewhere in Medina and have them completely refinish it, which involves heating it up till it's red hot, making it round again, and then repainting it, which is gonna cost a fortune and take a month. That or I buy a new wheel for probably around a thousand dollars. And they found a bunch of, uh, well, my struts and springs are original with 160,000 miles they need to be replaced, so I'm gonna do that, I think, uh, soon. And that'll be $2,000, so here comes the next three grand into the M5, guys. Yeah, I filmed it last time. There's Goodyear Blimp again. A car is only as good as the driver. Son of a bitch. Wow, guys, that really sucks. I would have filmed it more. I just turned around and went by it again. It's a E90 Coupe M3. Uh, I don't know if that's technically the E92 or 93 or whatever the hell it is. Um, incredible car, but you know what? A car is only as good as the driver, and that can't that statement can't be any more true. And a car like that off the road on a damn near perfectly straight, flat, two-lane road, you turn traction off, you try to do, do something stupid around that corner, that's what happens. You put a really nice $70,000, $80,000 car into a ditch. Get a look at the front of it on the way back. It looks like it's just going to be a bumper, probably a radiator, um, a bunch of stuff underneath it. it, it I, my friend Brad was there. He called me and told me to come over and look at it. I was downtown over at the gas station. Um, said there was a space gray metallic M3 in the ditch. I'm like, shit, that's hard to do. That car is so well balanced. That can't be easy to do, but I guess it is if you're screwing around and you're not a good driver. And um, damn, that'll, happy Easter, buddy. But no, I don't think anybody was hurt. There were two police cars there trying to figure out how to get them out and give them a ticket for reckless driving, I'm sure. But um, bumper, some stuff underneath. I, it, he didn't hit a tree or a telephone pole or anything, so the hood and grill and fenders and uh, that stuff looked okay. So, uh, yeah. Happy Easter. For freak's sake, Kenan, it is vibrating everything upstairs. Sounds really good, though. Using the iPad. <clears throat> Freak yeah! Thou who ask shall receive. Hi, Bobby. One o'clock in the morning, just went in and edited everything that I had from today. I know I said I was going to film more. Um, really, we spent the whole time standing around in shops talking about suspensions and wheels and tires and all that crap that's fun for like an hour to learn about stuff and then it just gets really old. Um, and I had the camera in the car most of the time, but don't worry, you didn't miss much. Uh, we ended up actually not taking the wheels off of the X5 because when they put the new tires on, they did a pretty good job of cleaning up um, the wheels so we didn't have to spend all the time doing that. Here's the old tires. One of my dad's friends actually wants them. I don't know why. There's This was a 50,000 mile, 50, mile tire. He got 67,000 out of them and they were noisy. That's really the biggest reason he replaced them, but I mean, there's like no tread left, so it needed to be done. But those are the old... Uh, these are whatever it came with, Bridgestone, Duelers, HL 400s, they're just big ass expensive tires, but he got those on and he's really happy. So here's the deal with the M5, I kind of told you a little bit about it, but I'm going to go over this. This is all basic maintenance that needs to be done on a car, any car is going to do this. So I'm not going to put up with the people that say, oh, it's a BMW, BMW have a problem, D. Well, yeah, BMWs are very expensive to work on, but as I say, you get what you pay for. This is going to be for you car people, so... Maybe some of you can leave now, and that's fine, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Happy Easter. For those of you who actually care, I'm going to go over some of the specifics. 
Um, this car is 160,300 and, mi 300 and some miles on it. That's a lot of miles. The rear struts and springs are, I believe, warranted for 50,000 miles. So you're supposed to change them about 50,000 miles. And then all the paperwork I have in the vehicle, they've never been replaced, so they're original. And I've always noticed, and this is kind of my fault, since ownership of the car in, January, in July 2010, this side, you stick your hand straight in there on top of the tire, and you've got about an inch until you come up and touch the fender. Over here on the rear left side, you do that, and there's no room. In fact, your hand is kind of at an angle. It's not straight, you know? So the left side is riding about an inch and a half lower. And I remember when I had the car down at Jeff's last year, and they replaced that rear stabilizer link that was cracked, um, they did somewhat mention, hey, you probably should consider springs, and they didn't make a big deal out of it at all. So with that side hanging, that puts um, an issue on wheel alignment. When your wheels aren't aligned right, you're not putting even wear and weight distribution and handling and power and stuff on your tires. So here's the deal with the tires. The inside two to four inches or so on each rear tire is completely gone. It is down to, they call it second stage or second category something rubber. Uh, there is no tread at all. It looks like someone's taken a screwdriver and just picked chunks out of it. The tires are completely shot. They have just over 7,000 miles on them. They were $800, um, about $400 a piece, $350 a piece, and then about $50 or so installed and stuff um, last year. So great. I chewed up a perfectly good set of Michelin Pilot Sport tires because the wheels weren't aligned because I was too stupid to replace my struts and springs. So I did a lot of shopping around to find the best price and service and stuff on struts and springs. And I couldn't order it today because it was Saturday and you can't order stuff on Saturday. But Monday I'm going to go back over there around noon during my off period and put the order in for struts, str or struts um, springs and mounts for the rear. I'm not going to deal with the front right now as long as they're aligned and there's no issues with it. I'll deal with that, deal with that when the time comes, which I expect to be fairly soon if the back ones are bad. Uh, actually, I think the front ones may have been replaced. I'll have to check my paperwork on that. But um, if we order that Monday, all of these parts come from Germany. There's very few of them around. It took every place I called like an hour to research it and quote me on it and call me back with information. And everybody called me back except Conrad's. Conrad's never called me back, but Midas and a whole bunch of places in Akron did with more expensive prices. Dave Walter wants 2500 to do that. Um, I'm going to let NTB do it in Hudson. They were very knowledgeable, very nice today. They're going to do it for 1600 for um, the entire rear. So that's step one. Step two is going to be fixing my wheel, which is going to involve me to take it somewhere and have it completely refinished. It's going to take some time or I'll find another one somewhere. Um, and then I'm going to have to put new tires on. So this is going to be around $3,200 to $3,500 to um, fix this. And it would have been a lot easier if maybe the previous owner would have taken the initiative to um, upkeep suspension components. Or if I had, I mean, I knew that the back end was low and that was just something I didn't want to deal with. And now I'm paying the price for that. So that's uh, what's happened and that's what's going to happen in the future with this. So, you know, I'll keep driving it. I'll keep air on this back tire. Just have to be careful. Ohio roads are such shit. But, you know, I check tire tread every now and then, and it feels fine as far as you can get your hand in there. But if you go all the way back, you can just feel it's completely rounded off, and it just, it's like somebody took a screwdriver to it, and it sucks. But uh, shit happens, and we'll deal with that. So we'll make a nice car out of it yet, guys, I promise. So I know, I know, long-winded. I'm going to go in and finish up videos. I got no emails. So I have like 15 videos on the Watch Later playlist. So we'll catch up on that tonight. Happy Easter if that means anything to you. I'm kind of agnostic, so I don't even know what Easter means. And I don't understand the bunny and the eggs, but I like the chocolate and the money, so I will take it. Uh, that's it. Talk to you tomorrow, Sunday. Probably going to sleep in. I think we are going to dinner somewhere casual with my grandmother. Uh, but I don't know. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Good night.